Hello there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would take a look at um, trying to use uh, Adobe uh, Lightroom Classic to uh, generate a, a photo that could be used as a passport photo just taken from an ordinary portrait that I've previously taken and uh, see if I can get that to a high enough quality that it could be submitted as a passport photo. So. Um, Let's give that a go. If you are renewing a UK passport, then you can do that online and you can submit online um, digital photos, um, which the um, government uh, website will check if it's up to, up to scratch or not. If, however, you're applying as an adult for the first time for a UK passport, I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe you have to apply um, on the paper forms and attach um, photographs that have to be countersigned by somebody sensible who is willing to say that yes this um, this image is a certified likeness so so what we're looking at today is really is the renewal process we're going to take a photograph of uh, myself just an ordinary portrait that I was messing about with I'm going to see if we can use it as a passport photo oh silly me before we go across to uh lightroom let's just have a very quick look at the um government rules on the photograph i'll uh, i'll include in the comments to this video the url to uh go to and there's also there's a second page which might be of interest to you if you're going through this process which is all about the counter signatures for your images but i'll, I'll put those in there I'll put links to those in the in the comments. Um, so on the get a passport photo main page, um, if we come down a bit, we get some rules on the requirements. Um, so this is what the uh, we need to try and meet today. So your photo must be clear and in focus, in color, unaltered by computer software. Well, we'll, we'll ignore that bit. Um, at least 600 pixels wide and 750 pixels tall and at least 50 um, kilobytes and no more than 10 megabytes in size. And then it gives uh, a few more instructions of what you can and can't do. Okay, let's move across now and jump into Adobe Lightroom. Okay, so we're now in Adobe Lightroom Classic. We are in the library mode and on the grid view. I have increased the size of the thumbnail just so that we can concentrate on the these two images here. And what I've done is this is the original photo. I have taken a virtual copy of this photo and this is the one I'm going to work on just so we can do a comparison later. So what I'm going to do now is um put this select this image and move into develop okay so we're in develop now what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to move to the crop tool i'm going to select that come down here and where we see custom i'm going to click on the drop down there i'm going to select enter custom and i'm going to type in the known size for the portrait image which was 600 by 750 so if I type 600, tab across, 750, and click OK. Now if we go across back to the um, crop sizes, we'll see that it hasn't um, put in the size that I typed in. That's because those particular settings already fit within an existing ratio, which is the 4x5 or 8 by 10 so that's why that's come up as that so we now have the correct uh, crop ratio for our UK passport photo so I'm just going to pull that down there and press return so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move across to the mask tool and I'm going to select sky what I want to do is I want to change the background on this image. So um, I'm going to click on the sky. And we see here now that the um, 
background of this image has been uh, quite nicely masked. So all I'm going to do now is come down to the curve adjustment box and I'm going to come down to the bottom left and I'm going to pull that up to the top left and we are almost there. I think I personally, to my own taste, I would bring that down just a bit just to tone down the white a little bit because it does look so clinical and I think I would leave that about there and we are pretty much done. Now, all that will be left to do now would be to um, export this image to the correct size. There was a size limit, if you remember, so um, between 50 gigabytes and nine megabytes. So what I would do is I would come across to File, Export. Um, I'm just going to export to the same folder as the original image. Um, and I'll keep it to the same file name of sequence. Um, but the important bit coming down here is the under file settings. I'm setting a file size. Now I've limited it. So I've ticked the box. It won't be ticked by default um, unless I've previously used this particular size. Um, so I tick this box limit file size and I'm limiting it to 9000k so that should give me the equivalent of um, up to a 9 megabyte file so it'll either give me that or just under as close to that as it can get and I think probably we would get um, a warning on that and then click on export Yep, there's your warning saying if it can't meet that size, it will do the best it can, and then continue. I've already done this previously, so that file already exists, so I could just ask it to use a unique name, and it would just get, change the name somewhat slightly. And there you go. Now, if we come back to the library, give that a moment to settle in. And there's our passport picture. Now, if I was doing this for real, um, according to the passport UK government rules, they prefer you not to be wearing glasses, uh, or certainly not glasses that are actually covering the eyes. Um, I would have prompt for a plain shirt, and I would be sitting slightly more to the front. I'm just slightly off there. But that um, possibly is good enough to get us through a passport application without any effort at all for a couple of clicks um, and that I think is about as much as uh, I can say on that so I hope you found this useful um, thank you for your time and goodbye